Hey, 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 welcome to the car shack. My name is Jimmy Prater. I'm a car closer. That's what I am. I close and close and close. I close car deals. I close them and gross them. Listen, you like to do the same thing, but you're making excuses. You got to be tired of the excuses. For 100 years, this business has had excuses. Why they are not selling cars. There are no excuses. If you are making excuses, you got to get out of the business. It's time. If the business has changed so much, it's time for you to get out of the business. If it's getting harder, you got to get stronger. If it's getting harder and you're not getting stronger, get out of the business. We're leasing cars left and right, right? That's what we do. We lease them. I was talking to someone the other day. I asked him about the lease. He says he didn't know. He just puts in the numbers and he just spits out the payment. He's the finance manager. He's the finance manager. He don't know the nuts and bolts of a lease, but yet he's just presenting it to a customer. See, closers, it's time for you to step up. It's time for you to know the nuts and bolts of the lease. This guy didn't understand the anticipation deduction versus the residual value. He didn't understand the CDE, the currency devaluation exchange rate versus the residual value. See, if you're not educating your customers to your advantage, you're not making gross. He didn't even know you can negotiate on the residual value. You could call a lender, say, I got a customer here. I need a little help. Increase the residual value. And increase their payment. Because guess what? You're making more gross. You can do it. So this guy was either incompetent or derelict. I come to the conclusion in my head he's both. He said, we're making too many excuses out there right now. Call your mortgage company and say, hey, I got an excuse why I can't make my payment this month. It doesn't work like that. It don't work like that. You got to make your mortgage payment. So you might as well rip the guts out of a customer. How do you do that? By calling a car sharker. By not having excuses. By not worried about what the car sharker thinks about you or what you think about anybody else. Because if you're not exposing yourself, you're not making dough. People that expose themselves who are not afraid, make the money. See, that goes back to that say. I say it again. You're either a salesperson or you're a closer. Now, if you're a salesperson closing on the product, that's what you're going to do. You're going to be a closer on that product. And if you got to close them on the figures, you better know the nuts and bolts of the lease. You better know the nuts and bolts of the whole deal. And if you're not educating your customer because that's so ridiculous when people say you're giving the customer too much information. They got their damn cell phone in front of them. Who cares? They can look up at anything. So you got to be a step ahead of them. And you got to take that customer by the back of the head and slam them down on your desk and say, sign, sign, sign. Stop being what? Sucking noodles, right? A spaghetti sucker? <laughs> Playing with the meatballs? Get out of that habit. Take your pen out. Take, matter of fact, take the tomahawk when they had your head on your desk. And you just keep hitting them. And let the blood squirt. Let it flow, baby. Let it flow and flow and flow. That's what you got to do. Now, the car circuit's not calling for violence. We're just trying to say one thing. You got to make gross. The customer comes in that door, you're, they're not leaving. They don't leave. They're going home in that ride. They're signing and signing and signing and going bye-bye. You got to start closing. This is it. Oh, referrals? Yeah, Referrals? What are you worried about a referral for? If you're making excuses, what are you worried about a referral? 
You think that customer cares about you? Is that customer taking you out on a date? Is that customer going to take you to dinner? No! Customers can't stand you. They despise you. Customers are not your friend. They are your enemy. You do what you have to do. You call the car sharker. Right there. Right up the sleeve. You got to have the tricks. You got to have the goods. You got to close. Don't be scared. Expose yourself. If you like anything on this video, go ahead and like it, share it. If you don't, I say it all the time. Put the thumbs down. Get rid of it. Don't watch it. If it's going through your feed, it's like, ah, 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 ah. Guess what? You don't have to listen or watch it. But I'm right in your face. I'm exposing myself to you. And when you talk about me, I'm closing you. When a customer talks about you, good or bad, guess what? You're closing them. They remembered you for some reason. If the customer's not laughing, smiling, giggling, they're not buying it. Simple as that. Like it, share it, subscribe. Hit that little bell button down there if you're watching this on YouTube. Because every time the car shocker uploads a new video, it'll go ding a ling a ling. Now do yourself a favor, my name is Jimmy Frater. Go close something. Yeah!